<laughs> okay, so this person here, Happy Spin, in July 27th, 2020, ranked all 99 ABBA songs from worst to best. Now, this is actually something that I have done before. About a year ago, I made this list. It's 101. I think there's some songs here that aren't officially released. Like, um, I know that I'm Still Alive is in this list right there. And that's not like officially released. And I guess there's also one more song in here somewhere that's not an official one. But I did revamp this a couple months ago. And, um... I added in all of the undeleted songs as well, and so there's 115. And I think that this list is a lot better. Um, Take a Chance on Me. Uh, Take a Chance on Me is definitely uh, number one in my opinion, before I said Waterloo. But you can get tired of Waterloo eventually. Take a Chance on Me, you will never get tired of. So this is my list. There's some bad songs in the bottom. I saw it in the mirror. It is at the bottom for me, as it should be for anyone. But I just wanted to go through this person's thing. See what they list are the worst songs and the best songs. Man in the Middle. Oh man, I want to read these. Man in the Middle could be a lot worse. It's definitely unique. I'll give it that. Don't worry though. It only gets better from here. Man in the Middle is in fact pretty bad. I just want to go back and forth between these. Man in the Middle is, yeah, down here. 106 for me. Now. Santa Rosa, that's where I get offended. I love Santa Rosa so much. It's so, like, catchy. Let me close the old one so I don't get confused. But let's see, Santa Rosa. Number 34 for me. Santa Rosa, it's so good. Santa Rosa is a great song. This person is wrong. Merry Go Round, yeah, that one sucks. I don't like that one. Messy and Bland, not memorable, very agreeable. Medley, Pick a Bay of Cotton, Clunky Rhythm, which feels a bit sloppy. It's like... A bunch of old tunes brought together. Medley pick a bale of cotton 65 out of 115. That's almost half. I don't know. Um, Susie Hang Around never quite hits its mark. Poor Susie. Sure, Susie Hang Around, not that good. I can agree with that. She's my kind of girl. Okay, I agree. This one, I don't know where I put it on here. Which, what song is it? Uh, She's my kind of girl. Um, I definitely agree with that. Here we go. 99. It's just not that good of a song. I accidentally opened up my homework. That's okay. You can, I can link whatever fuck school people are doing. Saw it in the mirror. I hate this song the most. I hate this song the most. I saw it in the mirror. The, the very last one. It's garbage. I saw it in the mirror. It's garbage. Disillusion. It's pretty slow. I can see why you don't like it. Rock and roll band. I also hate that. No, 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 no. I hate this person's opinion of this. Rock and Roll Band is so good, actually. Number 25, that's even higher than Santa Rosa. It's so upbeat and catchy. It's awesome. Tropical Loveland. Tropical Loveland is like, okay, but it should not be at the bottom. Here, 66. That's about half. Tropical Loveland's good. Ah, oh, lovers live a little longer. Oh, come on. Come on. This person does not understand ABBA. I think that's what I'm learning here. Um... It, the the way that the it builds up to the chorus is like one of the best out of any ABBA songs of how how does it go? She she said that every result she had backed her claiming a love's a longevity factor. I can't sing, but uh, I love that song. I'm so offended. Gonna sing you my love song. Yeah, that one's not that good. My mama said. Yeah, I also don't like that one. Intermezzo. Come on, Intermezzo. It's it's also called Intermezzo number one. There is no number two. They planned on doing more. And then they just didn't ever. And that's okay. King Kong song. Yeah, that one's not that good. Me and Bobby and Bobby's brother. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Sitting in the palm tree. I really like. I This one has to be high on my list, I think. Sitting in the palm tree. Oh, it's a 66. 68. That one's okay. Um... It's on my Gunner's ABBA Essentials. I really like it. I think it's also on the Spotify, like, uh, top ABBA hits, and it's pretty good. He's Your Brother. I like He's Your Brother. It's just catchy, cute, fun. <sighs> Treat him well, he is your brother. Man, where is that on here? I absolutely cannot tell. You might need his help one day. 
Yeah, 54. Not that bad. I like he's your brother. Put on your white sombrero should be a lot lower. It is not that good. Arrival is so pretty! <laughs> Top 79 marks the start of good ABBA songs. Wait, wait, wait. I need to open up my Spotify. Here, on my own personal Spotify, I have a playlist called Top 71 ABBA songs. A playlist called Top 71 ABBA songs. And this person says Top 79 is the mark of good ABBA songs. I just find that hilarious how we both <laughs> are like, around. there's around a good 70 ABBA songs out of the 100. What about Livingstone's pretty all right? Crazy World? Oh, I hate Crazy World. Oh, where is Crazy World on my list? Oh, 111? I hate Crazy World. It's not that good. Elaine? Elaine is so good. How could you do Elaine like this? I love Elaine. 23! It's so, like, fast-paced and awesome. <laughs> fast-paced pop tune with lots of vigor. It's so good. Why isn't it not higher if you like it so much? Oh, my God. I don't really like Hey Hey Helen. It's okay. It's That's where it should be. People need love. And that's also okay. Hole in Your Soul. I don't quite like the original Hole in Your Soul. I think on my list I put... Let me see if I can find wherever I put it. Hole in Your Soul Live. That's the one I use in my list. Because Hole in Your Soul Live is a lot better than Hole in Your Soul. Love isn't easy, but sure is hard enough. I don't like that one either. That one's probably at the bottom. Wow, it's, it's for, oh, 86. Yeah, out of the 70 good ABBA songs. Eagle, I'm a marionette. Oh, I'm getting mad. Eagle is so good. So many people are saying that Eagle is a great song whenever they talk about ABBA nowadays. Eagle is fantastic. Eagle, Eagle, where is Eagle? Oh my goodness. 42. And then what's the other one? I'm a marionette. I love I'm a marionette. I also think the live version of this better. It's a lot more like fast paced. 53. I should probably update that so it's the live version. Another town, another train. That is pure garbage. That should not be that high up. Another town, another train. 108 for me. It's just garbage. You owe me one? Also not that good. I also don't like You Owe Me One. Uh, where is that? Yeah, 105. Not that. I don't like that one. Ring, ring. I can see why you don't like it. Like, the first time I listened to it, I did like it. And then the more I listened to it, I was like, eh, I don't really think this is good. But it's cute for what it is. 59. Wow, that's pretty high up. It's not that bad, though. I'm just a girl. That one should be a lot lower. It Dum Dum Diddle. I hate Dum Dum Diddle. Dum Dum Diddle is one of the worst songs, and the ABBA fans know it. Dum Dum Diddle is down there with, uh, I Saw It in the Mirror as, like, ABBA songs that ABBA fans hate. 65 marks the start of great ABBA songs. Rock Me. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, Rock Me is really good. I love Rock Me. Uh, that should be pretty high up there. Rock Me. I don't even use the live one, even though I kind of like the live one. Should I Laugh or Cry? Ooh, Should I Laugh or Cry is very underrated. Like, once you, like, listen to the lyrics and get into that song, ooh, it becomes so good. Two for the Price one is pretty funny. Kikani hates that one, but it's pretty good. Uh, concluding with a punchline and a jolly symphony. Isn't that a nice way of putting it? Nina, pretty ballerina. Oh, I love that one, too. Nina, pretty ballerina, now she is the queen of the dancing floor. This is the, uh, 74. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I've been waiting for you. I love that one. Especially when Mamma Mia 2 does it. When Mamma Mia 2 does I've been waiting for you, come on, everyone cries. The Piper? That's very surprising, but I do respect that. The Piper is really good. We're following the Piper. Oh, it's at 85 for me. I respect that opinion, though. Like an angel passing through my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's pretty good. It begins with the TikTok sound that which ended the previous track. It does not say it there, but it's uh slipping through my fingers. Slipping through my fingers ends with the TikTok, and then like an angel passing through my room continues it. Watch out. Watch out is garbage, actually. This person doesn't know it, but watch out is actually pure garbage. <laughs> my love my life that one's another good one bang a boomerang 
I didn't like it at first. I did not like Bang a Boomerang all the times that I listened to it until pretty recently. The lyrics finally hit for me. So I can respect a good 56. Um, Bang a Boomerang is at 75 for me. That's pretty close for how many songs apart we have. Uh, on and on and on. It's pretty good. One man, one woman. Uh, I don't like that one either. One man, one woman. That has to be so low down on my list. Come on, come on, come on. 101. The King Has Lost His Crown. That one's pretty. Uh, that one's okay. It's a good 50%, which is <laughs> kind of where it is. Um, Honey, Honey is so nice. Soldiers is higher than a lot of these songs. I'm surprised this person likes Soldiers so much. Soldiers is a really good song, but I'm surprised someone recognized that. Where are Soldiers on my list? Soldiers, 67. Soldiers write the songs and Soldiers sing... 50 into the name of the game. That's number four for me. It's I, I I probably made that list when I was in a mood for the name of the game and the lyrics like really hit me personally, but you know. So long is fun. Cassandra, not one of my favorites. I don't like Cassandra that much. That one has to be pretty low down. 97. Yeah, I don't like Cassandra that much. 47 marks the start of amazing ABBA songs. Out of the 100 ABBA songs, there are 47 amazing ones. Love Light. <coughs> Love Light. 104 for me. What are you thinking? Put a good song in there. Oh, why did it have... Happy Hawaii. Why did it have to be... Oh, that's why I had 101. Is this person combined Happy Hawaii and Why Did It Have to Be Me? Those are the two different songs. It's actually the same song. They are two different songs. They sound the same. They use the same thing, but they're so different. You cannot put them together. They are way too different songs. Um, why Did It Have to Be Me at number 15? And uh, let's see, let's see. A uh, 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 Happy Hawaii. 30. Oh, this person combined the two? Oh, that angers me. I wonder is so nice. I, I will cry to I wonder any time of the day. Dream World? 44? Where's Dream World for me? It has to be near the bottom. Oh, it's at 83. Okay. Dream World is not that good. Dream World should not be up here. I let the music speak, though. <laughs> that one has to be amazing. Uh, That one, iconic, actually. Uh, wow. As soon as I click over, I forget the song title. I Let the Music Speak. I Let the Music Speak is, like, iconic. Here, 43 for me. Dance while the music still goes on? I'm going to vomit at this person's opinions. Dance while the music goes on? Where is that? Where is that? Oh my goodness. Help me find it. Help me find it. Help me find it. Oh, 113. And this person has it at 42 out of 100. That song is actually garbage. <laughs> this person needs to learn that. That's Me. Oh, That's Me is such a good song. I love it. When I Kiss the Teacher, go to. That's Me is actually really underappreciated. It's bouncy, whimsical tune. It's accompanied by soft maracas in the background, giving it amusing, memorable quality. It's so nice. It's so cute. The lyrics hit me so good. One of us... That's a good place for one of us. One of us is kind of overrated in my opinion. I like it for the music video, but not much else. Um, one of us is at 29 for me. Wow, I ranked it pretty high, honestly. I am the city! This person understands I am the city. I am the city is so good and no one talks about it. The ABBA fans don't even talk about it. It's like an amazing song. I am the city. It's at 13 for me. It's underrated heavily. The way old friends do, I'm also really glad that this one is high up there because people on the ABBA Reddit hate the way old friends do and they're wrong about that opinion. And I'm right, always. Move on. Move on is garbage. Move on is trash. Where's move on? 112 for me. And you put it at 36. Uh, not that song for me. Who as good as new. As good as new. I love for you. <laughs> me and I it's not one of my favorite songs but it's pretty good we like sunny rainy weather sometimes 84 live together me and I when all is said and done is pretty high up there but I do like the lyrics and you can be in the mood for this song this song is really good actually she keeps going head over heels saving the day running through I don't know the words 
da, 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 da. she's a girl with a taste for the world. Where is it? Head over heels, 62 for me. Does your mother know? I like the live ver version of this one also. SOS is really good. That song I was sleeping on in the beginning, and then recently I got into SOS. And so I understand SOS now. 27 right here. That's pretty good. Slipping through my fingers. Who doesn't love slipping through my fingers? Slipping through my fingers will make anyone cry on any day. Come on. It's so specific, but yet everyone is going to cry to it. Thank you for the music. Yeah, that, that, that belongs up there. That belongs to that place. Thank you for the music for me is... Man, there's a lot of good undeleted songs. Isn't like both Mamma Mia's, isn't it? Wow, I can't find it. I also don't really care that much. Oh, 55. There it is. Uh, Our Last Summer is also really good. The lyrics are nice. Oh, an electric guitar solo three quarters into the song. I love that guitar solo. The Day Before You Came. Probably the best of all ABBA's despondent and gloomy songs. Melancholic Despair with its low repetitive beat. Wistful hymn and ghost-like sounds. Absolutely. I could not have described it better. The Day Before You Came is really good and really haunting. It's fantastic and slept on, and the Mamma Mia 2 version is not that good, to be honest. Where is the day before you came? Where is the day before you came? It's one of the longest song titles. How come I can't find it? Do 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 boom boom do 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 boom forty five. Forty five and it's twenty six for them. Chiquitita, Chiquitita's pretty low here. But it's okay. I have a dream. I don't really like that one too much. It's it 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 serves a cute function when they're singing live because they bring out like children from some like neighboring elementary school of the area when they're touring to sing I have a dream. And so for that reason I'm okay with the song, but if it's the song by itself, it does not do too much for me. Happy New Year, I'm so happy is up here on the list. Happy New Year is slept on. I love Happy New Year. Right now I'm kind of like Eh, about the song but i had a phase where happy new year was all i listened to where did i put it i would think i'd put it somewhere up here i also don't care that much andante andante ah 22 andante andante is tw it's the second one for me ah it's like one of the best ones the lyrics make me cry the music makes me cry it's all so good Andante, Andante, oh please don't let me down. In the Lily James version in Mamma Mia 2, who Visitors, I also love the Visitors, is about the fear of the brutal policing in the USSR during the 1980s. It, is per it perfectly captures the panic feeling of the time with this restless chorus. Ooh, good stuff. Visitors is great. With the top 20, we've reached the absolute gems. How many songs is my uh, ABBA Essentials? My ABBA Essentials is 27. Wow. That's about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good amount. Kisses of Fire. Oh, that makes me happy. I love Kisses of Fire. I don't think I ranked it that high, but I love Kisses of Fire. Oh, 24. Whoa. Summer Night City. Summer Night City is so good, and I also love the live version. The live version is a lot better. Where's Summer Night City? Summer Night City, waiting for the sunrise to... Oh, Summer Night City live. Yeah, I put the live one there. I love the live one. Oh, I would put it at 18, and this person put it at 19. Yeah. Under Attack? Wow, that one's... Is that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can appreciate this person's opinions. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. I put it at number 8. Can't help being different. Put it at 17, nine spots lower. Hasta manana. That one's not that good. This one is not that good. You need to get over hasta, man hasta manana. Where did I even put hasta manana? I'm really like hitting the A in hasta. I put it at 87. Come on. Hasta manana is not really that good. Looks to the future with hope, making it one of the most bittersweet songs ever written. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, money, money. Yes, very good, very good, yes. Voulez-vous, yes, 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 of course. Super Trooper, they're getting all the good songs down here in the, like, teens. What's gonna be the top ten? 
The winner takes it all at 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I accept that. I don't really like the winner takes it all that too much personally. But everyone else does. And I'm okay with that. Their opinions on that song, I absolutely do respect. Where's the winner takes it all for me? Uh, the winner takes it all. The loser has to fall. It's simple and it's plain. Why? Sh oh, I put it at 40 for me. Waterloo at 11. Can you imagine someone putting Waterloo that low down? It's at number three for me. It's one of the most iconic ones. What the heck is your top 10 if Waterloo is 11? Knowing me, knowing you, that one is not, like, top 10 worthy. It's a fantastic, fantastic ABBA song. The music video is incredible and, like, top tier ABBA. But I don't think it's, like, top 10. Knowing me, knowing you. 28 for me. Uh-huh. Tiger at number eight, 9? Tiger is one of ABBA's best hidden gems. Tiger at number 9? Tiger is at number 72 for me. Whoa, dude, you have strong opinions here. It's a good song. I will listen to it if it comes up on shuffle. But number nine, better than Waterloo? No, this person. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Hard feelings. Number 16 for me. Between you and me. Fernando is pretty high up there. Fernando is pretty high up there. It's a fantastic song, but Fernando is pretty high up there. Fernando's at 14 for me. Not that much different. Like, if it wasn't for the night at number six, that one surprises me. I really like is if it wasn't for the nights, and it is underrated for sure. If it wasn't for the nights, it has to be up here somewhere. Uh, 30, ooh, 37. 37. Lay all your love on me. That one's okay. Number five. Lay all your love for on me is okay. 51 for me. Gosh. Angel Eyes, number four. Gosh, what's this person going on about? Okay, we have three songs. I see the next one is Dancing Queen. I think the other one is Mamma Mia. And what song is missing? Super Trooper? No, I think we did Super Trooper. Angel Eyes is okay. Not top five. I can't find Angel Eyes. I'm too blind. Dancing Queen, Mamma Mia is up there, and I don't know what song is missing. Dancing Queen. Number three, Dancing Queen. That makes sense. That makes sense. Something that makes sense. Mamma Mia, number two. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. If I had to pick one song to represent ABBA, I think it would be Mamma Mia. I agree. Out of Dancing Queen and Mamma Mia, I think Mamma Mia is the higher choice. Mamma Mia for me is number nine. Where's Dancing Queen? Dancing Queen is at number five. That's so weird because I do like Mamma Mia more than Dancing Queen. Mamma Mia has like a lot more meat to it and a lot more depth. Dancing Queen is just a good dance song, but Mamma Mia has like really good lyrics and meat. Take a chance on me. Oh my god. The, the same number one. The same number one. The same number one. We get it. We get it. We understand. Yeah. Oh, this person gets it. This person gets it. Is there any comments? No. No comments. Ah, oh, this person gets it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wow. A lot of stuff I liked. A lot of stuff I didn't like. Tiger at number nine. A lot of interesting stuff. I can't believe they put... They put Santa Rosa at number 98, <laughs> Pick a Bell Cotton at 96, and Rock and Roll Band at 91. They hate Ring Ring. I can't believe this person. That was quite a lot. Incredible. I think my list is better. No matter what, no matter everything, my list is a lot better. And it also has the undeleted songs. Like, uh, my favorite one, which is Baby, which is just Rock Me, but different. Um, Scaramouche is instrumental. That one's really good. <laughs> Ricky Rock and Roller. Come on. There's uh, one really good undeleted song. Where is it? Hamlet number three is really good. 
uh, one last one, one last one. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. It's called uh, Here Comes Ruby Jamie, number 17. I love that one. Like, it's only like 10 seconds long or something, but, oh man, I would love a full version of that. Yep, that's it. That's all I learned. All I learned is that my opinion is better and anyone else's opinion is wrong and everyone should listen to me. Fantastic.